We always say in order to have an AI strategy, we have to have a data strategy. Just from this, I'm expecting Streamlit AI demos over Snowflake data. When Snowflake acquired Streamlit a year ago, I think it was almost a year ago, I was expecting more data exploration apps or financial forecasting apps. But apparently, no, we're going into the AI and LLM apps. Hello, data fans. I'm Faniel, and I've been using Streamlit for the past three years. And while Streamlit will stay totally free and get its own open source roadmap, I still expect it to be stronger aligned with Snowflake's offerings. So the Snowflake Summit is the current best business way to get a better understanding of where Streamit is headed for the future. So unsiloing is really the core theme. And of silo what we try the to data. Do. All of your data so like from different oh, data silos and stamp AI all silos. over it. I guess Snowflake is putting the data lake house vision a little bit on the side to focus on the extract value from the company's data with AI. So last year, we acquired a company called Applica. Mm. Later on in the session, Don't we're know. going to refer to this as Document AI. This is the AI. Document AI. AI. I swear every cloud company now has a service called Document AI. I haven't looked into it yet, but if it's called Document AI, then I expect it to extract value and information from any type of unstructured text and mostly PDFs. Applications. We've made a huge Applications. effort for Snowflake to become a place where people want to build applications. So I wonder if that's where they will position Streamlit. Uh, that has not been totally clear for me yet. Snowflake have what they call their native apps. I think they actually announced it at last year's summit. I seem to remember it was about doing a marketplace of Snowflake native apps and they would call it like the app store of data apps. And Streamlit would be one example of native app. We're announcing Snowpark container services. You just saw container yeah, services. Container. <laughs> I um, have told. This is a huge expansion of Snowpark. We're yeah, to huge expansion. Now you can run containers. Um, the strategy. This is a large language model that's now disappearing, Ooh. you know, into the container. This is how we're going to host large language models. And we're Hosting LLMs in small containers that are reusable by any app. We're setting up this backhand LLM container and this front-end shareable streaming app. I'm guessing that's where we're going. My name is Mona Atarian. I'm Snowflake's mm. director of AI and machine learning. This year has been absolutely amazing. Mm. <laughs> I feel like the world is now as excited as I've always been about machine learning. I feel every company I've talked with, we went from ah, machine learning, it's an afterthought for later in the roadmap to Okay, everyone, we need an AI strategy that includes ChatGPT. We all have our generative AI roadmaps. Now anyone can directly mm. ask a question. You can yeah. talk in natural language. You can talk your to your data, programs. And the generative AI <laughs> layer can translate this natural language question into appropriate yeah. queries and even visualization. Exactly. Data fans, we're getting a generative AI translates marketing question to stream it apps. Woo! Document AI! AI. What lets you do is ask questions. Ask questions, does language. all of the extraction and fine tuning for, for you. Then software. you put stream it over document AI. Board, I don't know that. Project called Machine Inspections. Look, 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 look. Extracting info from all random PDFs, no Langchain, no GPT-4, no data leaking to OpenAI. I wonder how it works when your documents have the strangest layouts ever, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I know you could have done it with open source hugging face. If you look into the document Q&A task, you'll find multiple models to do it. But look, this is the kind of demos that you need to build in Streamit or Gradio to convince your management to do the AI. That's a great exercise for your resume. But in this age of AI mm. and Gen AI, you feed some PII to one of these models and God help you when that PI is going to show up, who knows in which context. Insisting on circular private data that doesn't leak to open AI. That's really an enterprise keynote, I admit. You will probably get questions around data privacy if you're building LLM demos in your resume. Are you going to do GPT for all over your locally hosted model? Will you be fine tuning your model and how? Are you investing everything in a data cloud? Are you going to partner with one of the data cloud providers? I mean, you may be under the impression that everybody is living to the cloud, but I can tell you there's still a lot of businesses that are 
risk averse and don't want to put everything in the cloud. And generative AI is going to accelerate that discussion on whether they're keeping everything on premise or going into the cloud. How do we deploy? deploy Distribute, monetize. Yes, monetize streaming apps. We want that. And not in Snowflake only. The marketplace is not just data. Mm -hmm. Last year, we shared a broader vision for a marketplace for. Is it coming? Apps. Is it coming? Is it and where we get those streaming news? Native app framework is going in. Imagine if this. Preview. Imagine this as the and expanded Streamlit the cloud version. That we've been only in prior preview, the momentum and the excitement is through the roof. You see some of the logos. So any of this is an app and maybe half of them would be third party apps and some of them would be Streamlit apps. And today I'm completely excited to share the introduction of what we call custom event billing. Wow. Which is that for any app or <laughs> any data product, you will be able wow. to bill in whatever usage only, base monthly fee, one time payment. Imagine we have this on Streamlit Community Cloud. Yeah, that's not getting on open source right now. I don't think so. It's probably for you to implement as a component. Wait, 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 wait. There's a Streamlit app here. So there was, a, there was a title on the top, I saw it. And here there's two columns and two columns. So I'm guessing this is a Altair bar chart with horizontal line. And here's a table with some styling for, a, for an orange column. And we are getting some more bar charts or Altair charts, depending on what you're using. Let's commit our code changes by creating the first version. And then if we commit With code changes, I guess framework, it's going to upload a new version new of the package to Snowflake, Snowflake Marketplace. That's nice. The ability to do training with distributed uh, Feature uh, engineering and training Snowflake in Snowflake. With some of the most common algorithms, things that you would find on Scikit-Learn or XGBoost. We're gonna be able to store Okay, we get a course. model registry. To publish them, discover them, and probably most important, deploy them, whether it's in, in a number of runtime environments, but we'll make it easy for you to manage the end-to-end -end life cycle. How many of you have trained models that never go into production because it's too hard to put in front of your users? <laughs> and this is where Streamlit has been shining for years now. You have trained models that <laughs> this is ex this is exactly how I sell streaming to so many people. It's it, you need to quickly showcase your data science and machine learning to stakeholders without the burden of learning CSS or layout or a reactive callback system. You just want this in front of your stakeholder as fast as possible. The types of experiences that show it specifies up in open source by community community wow, so are amazing. many so many apps. Wait, so many apps. Uh, I didn't prepare anything. Gravitational wave, I think there's a blog post on this. This sounds like the molecular with, it's using STMOL, I think it's my, in my React video. Snowchat, it's in my most common LLM apps. This one here, I don't know. Macro KPIs, I don't know. Pretty map, I think I, it's a geospatial. I don't, I saw it, I don't remember who did it. Anyway. We're very excited to announce the availability of editable data frames. So now you can do both input and presentation of data in streamed apps. A beautiful column configuration where you can specify, do you want a trend line, a chart, a checkbox? How do you present data? On a <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. First, it is very strange to hear about open source features announced at a big enterprise keynote. And yes, by that, I mean that experimental data frame is now out of experimental from two versions ago. There's a new column config, so you can format the way the column is displayed in your app. And we're also working on Langchain integration, so you can now be able to see or show the thoughts and steps of LLM agents. So this is also out. There's a Langchain callback integration in Streamlit. So any info out of a Langchain agent can be streamed into a Streamlit container. And I'm pretty sure they're working on more integration like direct chain callback, for example. But the one that I'm most excited about yes. is the introduction of a brand new stream. Yeah, chat, chat input, chat the message. Is against the clock to make it available I to all of you today. <laughs> And I don't know if any of you have seen, but 
Conversational AIs are coming. Conversational experiences <laughs> and, and, and AI apps are coming. Yeah. As teased before, you'll get LLMs using document AI and container services to deploy it and host it. And then you'll get your Streamlit chat input, chat widget to build your conversational interface over, over this. Painting the wheel, building a chat interface. Check out Streamlit's new component. This is a brand new wheel working very well for you, open source <laughs> for you to build amazing experiences. <laughs> I can just imagine the CEO of Snowflake coming to the Streamlit team and saying, We need to do a ChatGPT clone demo for Snowflake Summit. Can you implement this widget in one more? We have more than 6,000 LLM powered Streamlit apps. Ooh, they like this time, number. It's amazing. 6,000 plus. It's the way to go and show amazing results to your organization. So I would encourage all of you to go try it. Okay, hear me out. Right now, the trend is generative AI and LLMs, and you need to ride that trend. Two years ago, Streamlit grew exponentially because people were building so many COVID dashboards in Streamlit. They were everywhere on the forum and in cloud. And today, the exact same thing is happening. Everyone is looking to build that chatbot conversational Ask my PDF interface and Streamit is positioning itself to help you build all of those conversational platforms. But also last year we teased, it was just a, like an early demo. Yes. How am I going to host a Streamlit app host. securely inside Snowflake so I don't have Develop, to do a separate host? Develop and host. Look at this VS Code on the left and stream it up live on the right with light, hot reloading, a bit like data button right now. I wonder if we can get an open source version of this. Hopefully it will trickle down, we'll see. And we're very, very close to public preview. What you're gonna be able to do is create an app with safety, security, and privacy in mind. So you saw mm. Document AI, Document will support AI. a number of partner models, and will let you bring your own model, open source or otherwise. Mm -hmm. And you can create beautiful, amazing experiences with Streamlit. That's the broad vision, and hopefully you will be excited about what's possible. They're really positioning Streamlit over LLMs right now. How will this impact open source roadmap? I don't think it will impact it a lot. The roadmap was recently updated, and I just had a Streamlit ambassador call where they reassured us that they will be following this open source roadmap, especially this visual customizations. I know a lot of you in my comments are looking forward to this. It's coming. So I've given this app secure access oh, to my Streamlit Snowflake app. stage that has images from our production line. So I'll start by just asking an easy question. So we get this native app that is a Streamlit app bundled with a large language model. That's nice. And this is probably 50 lines of code. So, so very nice. More advanced. Can it give us any quality issues mm -hmm. with these goggles? So You'll we got the app identify. logo and we got select box with uh, select your image and select your model baseline fine tune. Then I can chat with an LLM about details on the image. There's key goggles. Are there any quality problems with these goggles? There are some scratches on them. Very business driven. Imagine putting this app into contact center products or for insurance agents. That is probably where we're going at right now. And Snowflake is positioning itself. Did any of you order a vector database? Because we have yeah, some pine cone database. inside of Snowflake for you. Yeah, I don't care. Well, it's it's over. Let me remove this. It was interesting to see Streamlit in a more enterprise-like setting. There's still a lot of features to expect from Streamlit, from model support, chat widget is still in its infancy, visual customization is coming. Now is still a great time to dive right in into Streamlit. And you should check this playlist to dive into Streamlit. I'll see you around. Bye!